Hi, I'm Wang Lam, and I'm the regional manager for Stratasys for the southwest region of the United States. Uh, here we have the Mojo printing system. This is a uh, FDM system, and FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. That's the technology that runs this machine. Uh, this machine here is a very easy to use, plug and play uh, 3D printer. Basically, we can run it off a laptop. It's connected with a USB connection. Uh, you load up a model, you hit print. It's as simple as that. Once the printer gets going, this is the output. Uh, a lot of people ask, well, what is the material? The material here is ABS plastic. So it's a fully functional thermoplastic. Uh, people primarily use this for prototyping. However, this because it is a fully functional ABS plastic part, uh, we can use this as an end use part as well in some applications. These machines retail for uh, $10,000. Uh, we just announced this uh, last spring, and uh, we're now shipping this. Um, so they're readily available, uh, and they're bought directly through Stratasys. What's the print size of this area here? The, uh, the print size is a five inch cube. So whatever geometry you're gonna print, if you can fit within a five inch cube, that will work in this machine. We do have machines that will print bigger items, um, but this particular one is just a five inch cube. And Wayne, can you tell us a little bit about ABS plastic, the hardness, the thickness that's available, that kind of thing? Yeah, so ABS plastic is a very common plastic that we see in everyday uh, uh, products. Uh, Lego is a very good example. Legos are made out of ABS plastic. So it's the same strength and durability that you would get from those other products. And it's, uh, it's something that we're used to every day. You find it in a lot of children's toys, consumer electronics, and so forth. When um, you're looking at prototypes versus end use, what am I going to see as far as quality and usability? I see this piece here and I see something that looks similar and that it has some working parts. Yeah, so with the ABS, one of the, one of the good things about creating a prototype like this is that it's fully functional, like as if it were an injection molded part. So on this battery box here, you can see we have all the features, but also we have the ability to create a snap. And we can do this all day long without it breaking because it is real ABS plastic. So in some applications, this could be a usable piece? Correct. This particular piece here is a company that was developing a tarp clip. Um, this was their first iteration of the tarp clip. They found that it wasn't as easy to use. Um, this was the second iteration. Much easier to use with this little tab right here. Be able to push it down, bring it back up. And then this is the final injection molded part and you can see it's very similar yeah, it is. to I each like other. That. That's great. So it looks like there's even some color option available in the uh, plastic. Yes, we, we provide nine uh, colors that you can run through the machine. Um, and we also provide custom colors as well if needed. Great. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you.